first step we're gonna do is to find out where we're gonna place the pepper on the paper. How big the pepper is gonna be. Uh, we're gonna draw really lightly, maybe here. So making sure you know how big and where you're gonna place the objects on the paper. I also want to include the catch the shadow. If this is what you want, you're gonna divide this here. I think down here and I have another smooth area and then have another curve over here. But all this based on your observation. And then another curve and come down on the top and right here in the curve. Another big curve over here. No, it's not right. I should move that the curve here. So keep changing it. If you see something that's not correct, you want to change it. And starting over here, come down. That's good. Another curve at the bottom. It's something about the pepper. They're all kind of curved align. And the top over here. No, not that much. Come back a little. Okay, come back. Another curved line. If something that you don't like, you can erase it. And what about the stem? Somewhere here, that's the base of the stem. And then starting drawing roughly where the stem would be. Okay, over there here. And I'm gonna fine tune the area for the cast the shadow. And now I'm gonna draw a little bit more seriously. We're gonna start in here. That's, I only draw this much at each time, but I have to look at it before I draw. I look for the information. Down here, and there's a small curved line down here, and then of curve line. I see there's a curve line, a smooth curve line it's coming down here. And another curve line as well on the side. Okay, right here. And then come down to this side. Smooth curve line. That's good. What about the other side? Let's continue. And then over here. What about the stem? Now is the time to draw the stem. And do any correction that if see it may be not right. If you are wondering that is this right or wrong, the first thing you need to do is look back to the object, get the answer from observation. And what we're gonna do next, we're gonna shade it. Okay, we're gonna shade it starting over here on the on the on the shadow side. It's gonna cover any area that I see the shading. Then is a green color. It looks darker than uh, the yellow color on the body of the pepper. I'm gonna shade the whole thing. And I'm also gonna shade it in the catch the shadow area. And close the bottom 
and also a little darker. I'm gonna shade it there. Have a little darker here. And I'm gonna continue the shading into the touch the shadow. Okay, right underneath the pepper, it's pretty dark, so I add some darker value over here. The next step, I'm going to use the blending stump to blend the value. After using the branding stump, it, everything looks smoother. And what else we're gonna do? We're gonna do two more things. One. We're going to use the eraser to make some highlight. And on this side, we have some highlight. I use a needy eraser so I can shape it any shape I want. Or you can use a, a regular eraser like this one and also work too with the pencil. Okay. Better to look first uh, before you taking out the values. So this also look a little bit lighter. So, and I can use my blender to brand it again, make it a little smoother. If something supposed to be a little bit darker, you want to turn it back to a little bit darker. I'm going to also the edge over here is from dark to light. So I'm going to now after lifting off. Uh, some highlight I want to use uh, the pencil to add in some details or darker value uh, to the drawing. Okay. Here a little bit darker. And the same here on the edge as from darker to lighter. And over here too, from darker to lighter. Adding some details. The highlight would pop up a darker value, darker than the highlight next to it. And if not, the highlight is not gonna pop. And that looks better now. And also I'm going in to make the stem uh, shadow side a little bit darker. And underneath the pepper uh, the catch the shadow here is very dark, so I'm going to add even darker value underneath here. 